hello everyone hope everyone is doing good today and as now uh, you know we are in the monsoon season so everyone at home would like to eat something spicy and uh, very you know uh, a touch of spiciness and also a little bit of uh, you know the black pepper kind of a things at home and uh, so let's make it a new kind of a, a dish which is made from uh, mutton so this is um, we'll make the mutton handi today so for making this mutton handi so let's uh, see what all are required so for making making this first we need i have taken around 500 grams of mutton and this is a bone with bone mutton i have used more bones here you can see because you know this is a winter time and sorry some uh, rainy monsoon time so it is good if we take uh, you know mutton and you know this is very good if we take the marrow kind of a thing so it's good for the health so it's uh, and along with this we require all the garam masalas all that is uh, spices even the pepper corns are required i've taken it and because we are making in this handi so we need uh, a raw papaya i have taken a small raw papaya guys and uh, you know i have chopped it nicely and we are using a uh, half of portion of this so and also we require hunker uh, i'm going to show you how we use the hunker see you know take a strainer and put this uh, uh, you know curd or yogurt in a strainer and the water would all go away it will be collected at the bottom and this we need to use uh, the one which is present in the uh, strainer so don't use the bottom one but use only the top one this the bottom one can be used as bottom milk so along with this we also need spices that is chili powder and turmeric powder and we also need onions i have taken two big uh, size of onions and one chopped uh, tomato this is uh, raw papaya i have used it and, you know finely chopped along with the skin and this is green chilies and this is ginger garlic paste we also need salt so let's uh, the hand is getting heated up so let's take oil and let's add oil into the the handi this is mutton handi guys so you know it, the taste would be more good and the best uh, result would be very best because uh, it is made in the handi and you can see i have added oil to this so we need to add little more oil guys here so because it should be cooked nicely let me add a little more hardly it will be uh, 3 tablespoons of oil so this is done to this we have to add the spices first so that is i am going to add cardamom so i'm taking 3 cardamom cloves here pods here and then i'm taking cloves so 3 cloves adding it in the oil here and so this is the this is one kind of a spice can skip adding this adding little fresh peppercorns on 4 to 5 adding the star anise star anise half of it because when you fry this in the oil it uh, the aroma present in the spices will go into the oil it goes into the oil and it leaves a nice aroma and taste so that your dish would smell more good so this is the shahi jeera I'm adding it don't forget to add shahi jeera guys because it has a very good flavor and it is a must to this dish so i'm adding shahi jeera that is splattering and now we'll add green chilies here make sure you move away from here and then we'll add ginger garlic paste
so now we'll add onion see uh, normally what we do is we add onion first but in this mutton handi we are going to add ginger garlic first and then you can increase the flame here and we have to cook it on a very high heat guys here high flame not on a low flame and we'll add some salt here so i have taken a little handful of fresh salt because we are also adding uh, tomatoes so little more salt is required this time so here this is the mutton as uh, you know so we have it here to this we'll add the raw papaya and if you want you can even uh, add as a paste you can paste it and then you can add it but i'm just using it like this you can see why we are adding is because we are not using the pressure cooker we are uh, you know the mutton however it takes very long time to cook and also you know it doesn't get cooked easily in the handi so we are adding this raw papaya and it would uh, fasten the process of cooking you can see the oil is coming up and the onion is nicely getting fried can see it here so as we have added this uh you can see the how the hunkered is the water is getting settled you can see the top layer the water is formed here i'll show you so this is how you separate the this is like this is a hunkered it's a very good way of first uh, making the hunkered we are cooking on on a very high flame and we are adding turmeric to this once we add turmeric here we can add some red chili powder also if you want Yeah, adding red chili powder. Almost two tablespoon of red chili powder. So it's up to you how much ever spice you need. You can add it. So the flame flame is still high. And now here we are going to add the whole mutton. So have nicely washed the mutton with the lemon and salt, and then I am adding it here. Now uh, I also we have to strain it so that all the water, whatever present in that, would go away. Now we have to nicely roast it. Roasting is very important, guys. So already salt is there, chili is there. the masalas are there even we can add uh, grinded garam masalas later so let this be sorted nicely 
so that the raw smell of the mutton would go away. See, I have used more bones, guys, here because, uh, as I said, it is good for this monsoon and also for the winter. And if anyone is having a deficiency of calcium, can take this every week. I'm saying only bones. Not the other one, the one which has uh, bone marrow. You almost have four to five of them here today. see so this is getting sorted up nicely You can see that oil is coming up. So it is releasing the oil here now. You can see that it's releasing the oil. At this time, we have to add the chopped tomatoes. This is the tomato. Adding it. And at this time we have to add the hung curd. If you put even for one hour it would be good. So it's the thickest consistency of the curd we are using. Then Caught it again. If you think that uh, you know you need more gravy, you can add uh, yogurt or curd more. So the mutton leaves water guys so make sure uh, you don't add water here now because it has moisture so it leaves when it is cooked being cooked so this i think i need to add a little more chili powder so i like that red color in the gravies so if you want even you can use the kashmiri red chili powder here So nicely it gets sorted. And this should at least be cooked for 20 to 25 minutes guys. Because as we already have added raw papaya, it will not take much time. So you can see. So, the one. So, let me quickly grab uh, the plate. So, here I'm covering up the plate here. So let this get cooked for about 20 minutes as I said. So after 20 minutes, so we can add the coriander, chopped coriander and chopped uh, mint. And then we can serve this. 
so we has also we have to check whether the mutton is cooked or not if it is not that cooked much so you can even cook it for a little longer time so you can see how nicely it is getting cooked the gravy leaves uh, the gravy and this is how it becomes the tomatoes would be mashed nicely cooked very well so as i said once it is cooked you can even add uh, you know little yogurt or if you want to add little water it's up to you you can even add water guys but i usually i don't add water here so so that's all if you want more gravy you can also add the brown onion to this this is how it is done guys so just add some green uh, coriander leaves and mint leaves and then serve it so thank you for watching my video guys thank you